Today we are working on 2004 Chevy Lumina. This car. As we worked too much on this car, what, uh, what did the owner in this? Uh, this cap. This fuel cap he had been broken from the hinges inside. So what we are going to do is we are going to fix it. We will work on this cap. I will show you, and then we will fix it over here as it was. So here is the door for the Chevy Lumina as I show you already. This has been broken. This will go in the car like this way and it should open like this. The problem with this door is it had been broken. As you can see it's difficult to see inside but maybe we'll get some idea on the camera even. Here are the hinges, this position and this position. So hinges are there and there is a fulcrum inside so that these hinges had been broken as the guy had been put some super glue inside and while he was trying to open it it had been broken the breaking parts had been broken from here from this location and from this location so what we will have to do is we will rebuild up to here and the same way up to here and then we will make a hole over here in this location a through hole up to here and we'll put some fulcrum inside and we'll make the same uh, hinges effect as it was so for this purpose what we have to do is we have to remove this old plastic material from the inside the reason for this repair is of course you can see the color it's a dull golden color for this car if he is going to purchase this new part and then color it to the same car color it will come something like for the uh, 100 to 200 dollar for this guy so he is looking for some cheaper solution as he did it for two times but the same unsuccessful so what we have to do is we are collecting some chisel or some screwdriver it should be very very much sharp as you can see the point is very very much sharp like a blade so same way what we have to do is we have to break these hinges the older one we will make some tapping and some chiseling and same way some hammering so that we will break both of these hinges so we are going to attempt this job i'm fixing my chisel over here and taking some lightweight hammer and making a hammer over here have to grip this part to the side and then try to break the older pieces I'll break this one part so the same way I'm going for the second hinge also I break it apart and the chunks come off both and clean it thoroughly So now you can see there is nothing remaining inside. It's even difficult to see. I'm giving some direction. Here as you can see nothing is remaining inside. So what I will do is I will drill a hole over here or make some or make the hole through some way. Thorough hole so that I will put a fulcrum inside and will put new hinges and they will do the same function. So here are the parts for the fuel cap, fuel door. So here what I did is, as you can see, the hinges had been broken. So what I did is I made a hole, a through hole over here, which is going through here to the other side and coming here. So this is a through hole and what I will do it with it is 
I will have to pass the wire. This is a regular steel wire, the MS MS. I passed it halfway like this. Then what I have to do is I, I will bend it over here with these two corners and will make hinges here so that those will be fulcrumed inside. So I will do a bending here like this and what I have to do is remove it a little bit and we'll do it using my pliers so then it will bend properly on one side minimum and the other side also the same way have to bend it and if it is possible have to hammer it a little bit but with care so that the band will be sit by a sit in properly now what I have to do is have to take my screwdriver and will make turns of this wire and then the end I will bend it inside like this so I have to try it by doing so It's a little opening because the space is little as I checked. There should be it should come straight like this, so it's okay now. Have to make another bend. And what will be better is I have to cut the wire so that it will come in my control. Or I will have to straight it up like this. Put my screwdriver to make another turn. Or even one more turn. But it is not required even. It's okay. So what I will do is I will have to Straight it up like this and then we'll tighten my turns. So by this way I have to do it for the other side also. I will do it for the other side and we'll show you. So what I did over here is you can see I make turns over here of wire and turns over here of wire. This is a single wire actually as you saw it already. So here it is bending inside and here also it is bending inside. But I did not solder it over here. The reason is if I will solder it, it will make stuff and uh, it will become stuff and uh, then it will not function it properly. What I did is over here is I make a th through hole for the fulcrum. As you can see from here in and then through over here. So this is what is my fulcrum, this is a nail actually, which I made a little bit of grinding on and this will go like this inside and it will, but over here will, the door will be and it will function like a fulcrum. So it will go like this, I will put it over here and then the fulcrum of course, have to put it in like this no it's not properly hinged so open it remove it and then again I will match the holes so now it's perfect yeah so as you can see this fulcrum is big enough I will cut it over here 
and we'll make a little, little bit riveting on the head of this uh, fulcrum or whatsoever the nail is so now as you can see the door is doing its function it's a little bit stuff but it's okay it will become normal with the operation but it's way better as compared to before because there is steel reinforcing inside and it's now very very much strong and uh, it will not be become break again I'm hoping and uh, this is what was our repair on this door so now we will put it on the car and I will show you how it is functioning over there it's okay up to some extent it is better than it was broken so for the holes what I did is I did not use any of the whatsoever this uh, drill machine instead what I use is here my straw and uh, of course the uh, piece of wire I used for drilling holes for this purpose I did not make holes of any fancy or whatsoever so we are going to fix as you see we did work on this so we are going to fix it in the car the way we have to fix it we have to remove the fuel cap and then this plastic or rubber covering we have to remove and then we have to fix it by this way so here are the two screws actually three screws so the two we will fix and the third one we will fix inside So both screws fix, fixed and the third one also I fixed it so now what I have to do is I have to fix back this rubber which I removed already actually a guide nothing more and then the cap also so now the door is fixing it's perfect here is the owner of the car with me he is actually from from Taliban <laughs> as you can see but he is my friend so there is no problem for me from him and he is going to check it now again he will open it close it a few times so that he will be satisfied with now as he opened I'm sure he is coming to check it again Yeah, now he is satisfied. It's okay? You are satisfied now? It's okay. <laughs> so he is satisfied. So no more danger from him. And thank you for watching.